Um, I will ask Mike Irvin to come down also. And I give you the microphone. Keep it always here. Okay. Hi. Good to go. Is he, okay, I start, I am Bruno, I was here last year in the Latin Talks showing you Core Data. It's a motion capture system that you can build at home. It's an open, project, uh, open source project that allows you to, basically what it allows you to do is to translate the movements of your body to the ones of, on a Blender armature. So obviously it's a way to produce uh, realistic looking animations uh, with little effort. So may, perhaps we get to see it's not showing here. Ah, oh, okay. So this is how it looks. It looks like. So during this year, um, the project has moved forward, and we wanted to share with you some of the news. For example, the system itself is still in beta, but we had two releases, and several people from all over the world are starting to implement it. For example, we have um, Robin here from India with his team. They are working in therapeutic applications. There's Nina from Russia who, together with a couple of collaborators, are creating a derivative system to fit their needs. And there is, for example, also Piero who is he's like solidifying the trail of his movements to create sculptures. Uh, apart from the hardware and the software, we work to put together the, the infrastructure that allows us to transmit the knowledge about the system. For example, we created a wiki where you can find instructions on how to uh, build and how to use the system. There's also a forum where you can you get to share uh, your experiences and also to get support from our team and from also from the community. And one thing where we realized during this year is that even there are, if there are some users that are eager to, to embrace the whole building process, other type of user is more likely to, to prefer to spend more time capturing. Namely, the animators don't really like to stay there and solder. So what we are working on a, release, a production release that we allow you to, to just buy the hardware and use it right out of the box. Of course, uh, we are committed to maintain the whole system free and open. We release the software as GNU, uh, GPL version 3. Uh, all the, the communications on, on the, the several surfaces are made with uh, clear, non-obfuscated protocols. And you can always, we'll, we'll always be able to build the hardware at home, if you like. Um, this new release will likely to be happening in the first uh, part of uh, 2020. If you want to stay informed about this, uh, please subscribe to the newsletter that you will find on the, on the bottom of our web page. Um, of course, we don't want to fill your inboxes with uh, spam. It's like we, we are just getting too many of these type of requests lately, and it's hard to keep up with every responding everyone in, on a personal basis. So uh, there are some users that are, are building this, the hardware at home, at home, and we would like to give a big shout out to them. So, but. Um, the most part of, the, of our user right now came from our, our what we call the beta testing programs. What we do once in a while is to offer a limited amount of suits uh, to, a sele to selected users in order to check. Th that way they can use the, the hardware before it gets released and we get to, to collect feedback that, that really helps uh, pushing the development forward. So since I'm here, we'd like to say hi to some of the, of the beta testers from the Blender community. I don't know if Mitch is here. Here. So thank you, Mitch, for, for joining. And also, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, Mitch didn't have much time to work to experiment with this lady, but really thank you for joining. And I would also like to introduce to anyone, anyone of you uh, to Justin. Oh, one minute. OK. Another big uh, applause to Justin because he uh, was one of the first beta testers and he kept jo uh, posting updates and feedback and on our forum. So. <laughs> How many times? Okay. To end, we just finished a second beta testing program. Um, we, we went so well, we decided to build twice as many suits as we were planning originally. 
And the best part is that we reserve five of these slots for people in the Blender community. So if anyone is interested, please go ahead and fill the form in, you will, will find in this page. Uh, two things before finishing. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Please, when you fill the form, be as detailed as possible in the description because we would like to know about your, your background. And I would like to emphasize the fact that we do ask for uh, the cost of these suits because we don't can afford them. So thanks, many thanks to anyone for watching and many thanks to <laughs> Blender.